Hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, the game where I breed bunnies and geese and uh, try not to kill anyone in the process because that's apparently a thing you can do here. Um, so let's just see what research things we can get. We can get new benches. And a trampoline. I'm not sure why animals would need a trampoline, but okay. And we can get a shelter. That's good. So let's go and um, give the bunnies a trampoline. I guess. <gasps> oh my god, now the, the mighty gorilla is no more. Kong gone. From hunting the habitat lost, the great apes have always been under pressure from mankind and today the last wild gorilla, a male known as Bubbles, was sadly laid to rest, making gorillas now extinct in the wild. Through selective breeding programs in zoos, we can reintroduce these animals to the wild. Okay, so... But yeah, I don't really care for the breeding project because... Can you see this? Can you see that? <laughs> can, I, can, can the geese do that too? Oh my god! Uh, this game is perfect. Buy it. Yeah, let's let's donate money to the forest fire. Oh, we got we got capybaras. Yes, they they'll get along with everyone. I don't really. They'll be fine. An enclosure is blocked. Yes. Um. Yes. Give me a second. But this one. No. Is this one blocked? I don't know which one's apparently blocked. <laughs> This one? Those? Um, I don't know. New object? Um, can you tell me which enclosure is blocked? Because I don't know. Um, anyways, what do capybaras need? Oh, this one is blocked by what? The enclosure. Move. No, not the enclosure. The items. Um, view objects. The water person should be fine. Oh, I guess I'm blocking them from getting to the bat, so maybe that helps? Looks like it. So we're getting capybaras. Um, I guess they also like normal grassland habitat? I don't know. Let's make a big capybara habitat over here. Because they're absolutely adorable. And um, I want to have all the capybaras. Yes, I will add animals once I have the animals. Hey, <laughs> chill. Um, stop. Rats. You have a new habitat. That will soon hold capybaras. How's the breeding going? Okay, they're, they're, they're breeding. <laughs> That's good. Um, I think we have... Yes, there is the capybaras. <laughs> um, now let's just quickly move them. This is Dakota. Dakota, you're going over here. And Raps is going along with you. Yes. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, let's add some stuff here. You need water. And um, obviously you need a trampoline. <laughs> and a ball. And um, let's give them a shelter. Yes. And also, um, a phone. Because why not? Are you happy now? Alright, also, let's let's just do some food stuff. How do I... Eating. Okay, we have... We, we, we would have food if I wasn't going to improve it. Okay. What, what? Oh, why is poop a part of their diet? Do I want to know that? Do I want to know why a part of their diet is poop? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, now they are getting too much food, actually. That's... Oh, that seems to be pretty perfect for them. Okay. So, we have capybaras. And what shall they do? Other than being happy, friendly capybaras. What is it? Is the zoo take care price too high? Yeah, okay, let's lower it down. Um... I feel like I want to give the bunnies a bigger habitat and also the geese because I want to put more decorations in it. Why is no one feeding them? 
Oh, did we not? Do, we, do I have to buy supplies manually for each of you? That, that's not good. You know, that's... Do I, do I have food? Quick order, yes. Okay, I already have everything. That's good. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Um, <laughs> let's put another um, drink stall up here, I guess. Maybe another restroom, too. And another bin, because... We'll need bins. And then let's let's see what our weird animal breeding habits do. So that's Chip and Chaos and Jenny. Jenny's pregnant. Okay, and Sebastian and Barney and Ponzi. Okay, and they're they're just bouncing up and down. This game is great. Please get this game. Get it, it's on Steam, it's not that expensive. Get it, it's great. Look at it, it has a bouncing capybaras. How can you not get this game? I mean, look at it. They're bouncing capybaras. <laughs> bouncing on a trampoline. <laughs> it's the best thing that will ever have happened to you. Yeah, yeah, research, blah, blah, blah. I can get a mini fountain or a lamppost or shelter pack classic so now i can get umbrellas for my animals oh i bought shelter maybe it wasn't shelter for me maybe it was shelter for the guests so that they don't die yes to the heat tiki shelter um place some shelters stay in the shade Yes, let's put some shade here and um here I no I can't place it there. Whatever. We have extra power, so we're selling that. We are making money. Well we, we didn't make money, but we're making money. We're spending a lot more money. We're not making any profit. We're not making profit, but we have copy bars. How can we not make profit when we have capybaras? <laughs> Truly, it should be impossible to have not make profit with this. I mean, have you seen these animals? <laughs> yes, why is no one feeding you? Oh, we're getting crisp. What? Why? <laughs> Okay, we at the Monsanto Corporation want to donate the plants for a CRISPR splicer. Since the discovery of CRISPR, it is possible for you to create animals by literally editing their DNA. This is a real thing, by the way, in case people don't know that. CRISPR are like genetic scissors, so you can basically cut out some stuff and put in other stuff. That's how they made glowy frogs and all that, but anyways. <laughs> want a hoppodile or a ping monkey? If you map the genome of an animal by finding or breeding at least five variants of any animal types, you can create your own animals. Um, we, we have to, we don't have the money to pay it at once. <laughs> what is that? That's not how splicing works. That's not how splicing works. Okay. Um, many scientists have put their heads together and come up with the groundbreaking technology that will achieve the impossible, transferring animal heads and bodies to splice them together. When interviewed, the staff and management were very secretive about the process, but they claim that it's nothing illegal. Some people are concerned about what this means for the future, as well as the ethical issues this may occur. That's not English, is it? <laughs> oh, maybe, probably. I don't know. It's too late. It probably is, and I'm just confused. Um, for others, this is a large step towards for science that will hopefully bring the zoo and humanity to greater heights. That four is not supposed to be in there. <laughs> Anyways. Um, it is unknown when the zoo intends to build a full facility and start the venture into animal splicing. The splicing a rabbit and a snake. <laughs> that would be cute. Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's splice rabbits and snakes. Um, Rhett, are you in charge of this habitat? Yes, you are. Why are you not feeding them? Yeah, there's a new... Wait, there's a new baby? We have a new baby bunny? Oh, yes. Bullwink. Bullwink. Male. Okay. So that's from this breeding pair. 
for the no that's from their breeding pair that's from the bunnies in here okay <gasps> we have a new baby goose it's tristan honk honk can i trade one of the geese no they're all white so i can't trade them they don't want white geese you know they want they want the other kind of goose um is that a flying goose um that is a flying goose isn't it like okay that sounds weird but like a, a goose with wings in the back <laughs> um okay okay i guess do we make more bunnies i kind of feel like making a second bunny habitat because i feel like the bunnies don't have enough space here but that's just me i could fit way more bunnies in there but i just want to fit way more decorations in there um happy Barris, are you pregnant yet no dakota why are you not pregnant oh what is this um Anyways, we have a lot of mini vibrating bunnies and geese. And where's my... I think my flying goose is coming in tomorrow. Signboard, navigational, floor pack, stone, cotton candy store, choco vendor, incinerator, burn deceased animals to dispose of unsightly corpses. That, that... I mean, the animals will at some point die, but do I really have to burn them myself? Add two additional chambers in Crisper Splicer. I have never played this before. I don't know what I'm doing here, okay? Um, build a Crisper Splicer. New technology has enabled us to splice animals together. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, how much is this Crisper Splicer? That, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a big thing. No, I can't afford that. I'm sorry, I have too many vibrating bunnies to feed. Who needs a crisper when you have vibrating bunnies? I mean, honestly. I was thinking, if Chip and Chaos and Jenny and Fonzie and boy, we have a lot of males. So maybe I could donate Chip um, to some other zoo so that we don't have that many animals because, you know, Lot of animals um and the new goose is coming in watch out it's the goose with the extra wings in the back um yeah yeah it's okay okay we just skipped a couple steps there and then we got this one <laughs> Okay, cool. Can I, Nina, can I put you in the breeding project? After these are... Yes, I could, but, um... I guess I can't right now. Which enclosure is blocked? This one here? Anyway, um... View objects, that is a... That is food. <laughs> is the food blocking the enclosure? What? Because it showed that the capybara enclosure was blocked, but can you tell me which enclosure is blocked? Because I don't know. Because <laughs> he did just give food to the bunnies. And, um... Yes, yeah, so it seems like the enclosure that's blocked is the, the one for... Rabbits? But I'm not quite sure what's blocking him, to be honest, like... Can you enter the bunny enclosure now, after I destroyed a random plant? Build five food shops. Oh, okay, we got a knee dock. Yes, cool. Perfect. We got a, um... Wait, where's the new... Oh no, it's available in the shelter. Um... Trooper, Mickey, Jingle, Tristan, I have too many males. I'm going to donate Tristan and Jingle. Yes, because I don't want to have too many animals because I'm going to lose track of the animals. But we can get two new geese. You and you and you. 
We can get three new geese and have them in here. That should help us get the genome for the geese. Because that should be enough to have the... An enclosure is blocked. Animal keepers need to reach the interior of the enclosures to clean them. So the cleaning is the issue. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Um, and maybe if I move the water bucket to the end, then it shouldn't be blocked anymore. I think the zoo also had one more capybara that I could keep. Because extra capybaras. But more importantly, how are the bunny breeding projects going? Oh, it's a... Okay, that's a new one. That's not a new one. Okay, so we want to keep the, the giant bird. Yes, we want to keep the cool one and not keep the other one. Um, that's that's how I do animals, you know, just keep the cool one and ignore the other one. Um, we have a lot of white bunnies. Why do I have so many white bunnies? That's Jenny, and can you stop bouncing? That's Frenzy, and that's Chaos, and that's Bullwinkle. Okay, but it's two females and two males. I'm gonna donate Frenzy and Jenny, because I want to keep Chaos, because... She's called Chaos. You know, I I can't not keep her. Um, you know, that would be kind of illegal um, to not keep the animal that is called Chaos. Figures are so floppy. Okay, so they're all, they all need energy and they all need a restroom. There's a restroom up here and there's a restroom over there. Um, we have space for another enclosure down here, in theory, but I don't think I need another enclosure. I am waiting for the other, um, geese so that I can, you know, build, uh, no, get, like, the geese to breed in a nursery. Um, let's get the incinerator, because I don't know if it'll be necessary, but maybe at some point we need to deal with dead animals because ours die. I don't know. We haven't played this game before. Furnace plans revealed. The local zoo has put forward plans to build a furnace and some local residents are not happy. While I know that even hospitals tend to burn their organic waste, I still don't like the idea of it. Another had this to say. I guess a crematorium for animal makes sense. Otherwise, what will happen when something inevitably dies? I don't want diseases, rats, and other unsavory things in our area. Yep. So, we can now... The bone in question. Let's incinerate an animal. Um, not, not, not. We don't have any dead animals to incinerate right now, but sure, at some point, I guess. Okay. Yes, we can now splice geese. Um, more importantly, you're infertile. Wesley is now infertile because Wesley is too old. Hey, okay. that's okay. I guess. Um. Yeah, I do need to order food for the geese because we have more geese now. Um, can I afford a second? So keep it hopefully. I mean, here we have three capybaras. It's any of. Is the fe where's the female? Are you pregnant? Yes, cool. I want to pet capybara. That don't we all like? Doesn't everyone just want to pet capybara? I think that's like people's dreams. But now that we have a lot of geese, we you know they can bounce, and we have a new type of bunny as well. Yes. Give me the new capybara. An enclosure is blocked. Which one is it? Oh, the geese. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I do think that at some point it would be ideal to just make them, like, way bigger enclosures. Jailbird set free. An animal trader who was recently sent to prison thanks to the vigilance of the local zoo is back on the streets. I love animals and the lifestyle they give me. It's going to be hard not to return to my old ways, but I will tell you one thing. I trust the local zoo a bit less thanks to this. Okay. 
Upgradable variant, yes, because now we can um, get snakes. But what I was trying to say is, I would like to turn all of this into one bunny habitat. But for that, I need to find space for another big goose habitat. Um, this game is very addicting, by the way. If, if you plan on picking it up, make sure you have enough time to play, because otherwise you will go insane. Um, being said, I'm going to end this episode here. After three episodes of crazy animal breeding. Can I save? No, I can just quit. Okay, I think it auto-saved at, like, the beginning of the day. It's a journal. We, we have a journal. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the crazy animals. And um, I hope we'll see you again soon. Bye!